This challenge comes to me by way of the Jewish News. This ALS ice bucket challenge is a little bit different to some of you out there who are doing it in 100 degrees weather or doing it in your swimming costume. I stayed in the clothes that I am already in today and I'm sitting here in very cold and rainy London, England. I received the initial challenge by the actual Jewish News and I'll read you that letter in a moment. I received subsequent challenges by a congregant, Ian Friedman, by my son, Davi Shachet, and by a colleague and a dear friend, Rabbi Yisrael Rice. That's four challenges in total as of the last count. Here's the letter, and then we'll proceed. Dear Rabbi, you are no doubt aware that there is an ice bucket challenge going on around the world. Personally, I think it is a bit childish, and if anything, also pretty inappropriate. All that water wastage, we go on in Judaism all about not wasting. Think about all those poor countries where clean water is scarce. Also, I want to know why I didn't see you yet doing the Ice Bucket Challenge on Facebook. Is it for the same reasons that I wrote? Do you agree? If you do, fine. If not, then I challenge you. You have 24 hours from when this letter appears in print. That's signed by Jerry. And my response in typical Shuffet style, Dear Jerry, childish? Inappropriate? What side of the bed did you wake up on before you wrote to me? If nothing else, it proves the incredible power of the internet and social media. Think how we can connect the world in doing something for a positive cause. Imagine what more we can do in that regard. What a welcome reprieve from baby videos. What makes them think everyone is interested in their kid's first step? Cowardly men and women declaring their undying love, because it's easier that way than looking someone in the eyes. And holiday snaps. Do they really think their friends want to see every detail of their time away, or are they just trying to show off? I appreciate your sentiment about water wastage, but you need to see this in context. The water is not being wasted at all. I don't know how many buckets have been poured, but if you think how it has raised so far so many millions of dollars for ALS, that could only be a good thing. Strangely enough, it hasn't necessarily hit the UK as much as the USA, but to be sure, I take your challenge, and I challenge the editor of this paper, Richard Ferrer, to the Ice Bucket Challenge as well, and I expect to see both our picks in next week's edition. Richard, you have 24 hours, and Jerry, lighten up. Okay, boys, bring it on. Is that it? <laughs> and I now challenge the leaders of Anglo Jury, Chief Rabbi Mervis, Vivian Wyman, Chair President of the Board of Deputies, Mick, Chairman of the Jewish Leadership Council, Paul Charney, Chairman of the Zionist Federation, and Robert Speaker for bringing along these wonderful boys from Kishiron to assist in this process. You've all got 24 hours, a refuah shleima to Yitzchak ben Baruch and all other sufferers of ALS.